Now let's take a look at example 9 and 10. We want to write the inequalities given the following graphs. Now, we're going to be looking at A, and we notice that um, where we're shading, the black part is the solution set, so that is relation to A above A. So we shaded above A, but then I notice that it is below B. So that's going to tell me A is going to be greater than, and B, since it's below, is going to be less than or equal to, because it's a solid line. Okay, so you have to keep a couple things in mind. Are we shading above or below? Is this dashed or is it solid? Now for part A, um, I'm going to try to find my slope. So slope um, is going to be up 2 over 1, so slope is 2. My B, where I cross the Y axis, so this is 0, so it's going to cross right here at 1. So if I was writing an equation, just an equation for a, it would be y equals 2x plus 1. But we don't want to use an equation. We're going to use greater than or less than because this is a dashed line and we're shading above. Since we're shading above, I'm going to put y is greater than, okay, so we shaded above and it's a dashed line, so don't put an equal to sign. So y is greater than 2x plus 1. So now I give you the picture, you have to give me the inequality. Now for B, I know I'm going to shade below, so it's going to be less than, and it's going to be equal to because it's solid, but I need to find the slope. So the slope of B is going to be down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, negative 1. B is also at 1, that's where those two lines are crossing, and I'm shading below, so the shaded part is below the line. So I want to put y is less than or equal to, because it's also solid, negative x, because slope is negative 1, so we just put negative x plus 1. And you have just written two linear inequalities given the following graph.